Hello everyone. I am going to show you how to uh, bulk or individually optimize images with a free service online uh, to make uploading your images to go imagine faster. And um, for me, it was <laughs> less annoying because I was running into problems. Um, I was having a problem when I was uploading files uh, that I have here. Uh, they were taking forever and I couldn't upload more than two at a time. If I tried to do three, the system would get just overwhelmed and I couldn't finish and it took me a minute to be like, oh yeah, I'm using original photos that are not optimized. So you can see these images and were 2.8, 4.5. I mean, these are just images. Uh, I take a picture of each decal or not each decal, but most of the decals I make um, just so I have them to show online. And I just take them with my phone and then I upload them to my um, computer. And uh, most places like Etsy and Amazon, they've got built in, you know, as you're uploading them, um, they will compress them and optimize them for you. Uh, we don't have that here at this time with Go Imagine. Well, I think there's a version of it, but it, it's not as advanced as those other places. And so, um, you know, I, I could have done the old bring everyone into Photoshop and, and, and save them for web and, and optimize them that way, but I didn't want to waste that kind of time. So I went online and I found this free website. It's bulkresizephotos.com. Um, and you can upload as many images as you want or do one at a time. Uh, and then it'll automatically resize and this one will actually give you some options. So I was going to show you how I do this. So I'm just going to take all my images because I have quite a few. Um, for this particular decal and I'm gonna just copy and pull them in here and then after you pull them in there you have a couple different options of um, which way you want to do this the first one is by scale and this is how I was doing it um, so it's gonna scale the images to 50% of the original dimension which that seemed to be good enough um, you know quality wise like this is one that I have uh, scaled but when you look at the zoom in it still looks pretty dang good so um, I'm gonna stick with that they also have you can do it by the file size so if you want it to be under a certain size if you want to do exact dimensions so it'll crop or if you just want to do it by width or height um, or longest side they've, so they've got a lot of options here uh, they also have an expert mode for each of these which I believe just turns on the format um, that you're going to save in, a background color if it needs to crop, and the image quality. So you can mess with this. By default it does about 80%. So when I go back up to scale, it's going to do 50% of the, of the size of the image, so the actual pixels. So if it's a 1200 by 800 pixel image, it's actually going to cut the pixels in half to be 600 by 400, um, which that's a little low. Usually um, for online ones, I'd probably want them to be about 1200 by 800 or somewhere around that. Probably no bigger than 1200 on one on one side. That's usually big enough for any of these apps, you know, for or any of these websites that you use that have the zoom in. You still want to be able to have some zoom in. And the smaller you go pixel wise, the less zoom in you have. So, and I just left it at 80%, and I just uh, click start resizing and. I mean, it's going through it fast. I tried another service and it didn't comp it didn't compress the images as much, and it took forever. Um, so now I can go back over here and I'm going to save these in the right spot. So when you do a bulk one, it just um, it puts it in a zip file, and then you can save that. And then once it downloads, you can unzip it to your computer and or extract it to your computer. So now it put a, a folder in here called bulk resize photos. And if I go, so let's, uh, let's look at this. So let's do this first one. It's um, 2.8 megs. So that's the original image. If we go in here, it's going to have the same file name. It's now 383 kilobytes. That is massive um, amount of, of, 
of downsizing and this is the optimized image i think it looks uh quite good i mean when you zoom in like you know pinks and reds compress the worst but um no oh, that's not what i want but yeah i mean it's I, I think it's a great tool for everybody to use. Even the text that I have on here still looks pretty good. And this is when you're zoomed in. I mean, so at regular, it's it's great. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And then also when I go um, to upload, so we've got our drag and drop here. And so I've got all my new images that I just resized. Um, it does put in this .html file, which you don't want to upload that. So can move that to trash um, but I'm gonna try I don't know if it'll let me do all of them at once but well I actually don't want to do all of them but uh, let's pick the first these ones all look I try not to do the ones that are the same and then pull them over into go imagine and just look at them go like the other ones they would get to like you know right about there and then just stop and so they're just quickly uploading that was amazingly fast <laughs> this last one's having a little bit of an issue let's see if it'll finish up and fyi if you try and press save right now it'll say still uploading files and it won't let you actually save it so hopefully this one will finish If not, this is what, see, this is exactly what was happening with when I didn't have them optimized. I think maybe um, I just can't handle five simultaneous uploads. So maybe stick to four at a time. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page um, just because it's going to get stuck there. And then we'll just upload them again real quick, but we'll only do five or do the first four, I'm sorry. So pull those back over. It could be that specific file too, we'll find out in a second. Because it is going a little slower than everything else. Oh, but nope, it finished. So four seems to be kind of the magic number. I'm gonna press save. It saved it. I'm gonna go back and look at it. So these are the images so there it looks good and that's still it's a good it's not too big sometimes these images when you um, don't optimize them they don't look very good um, when you zoom in because they're too big there's only a certain amount that it can show for the zooming so yeah so that's just the quick and easy way to do it this bulk resize and um, you can it's they show ads on here they actually have um, I'm trying to, where did they, they had some little uh, thing where I could download like essentially a little app to my computer. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it now, but uh, that I can do it right from my computer. It opens a little, this little window here and it's just, it's just their website kind of embedded there, but I don't have to have it open in a browser. It's kind of its own little browser. So. I hope this helps you guys and uh, 